This is the plaintiff, Michael Martucci. He says he helped a tenant of his out by making some loans to her so she could buy furniture and a television. When he tried to get her to pay him back, she posted their conversations on Facebook for the whole world to see and slandered him something awful. Well, he knew then and there the only way he was going to see his money again was by suing her. So that's just what he's doing for the $5,625.47 he's owed. This is the defendant, Sarah Wilson Ware. She says the plaintiff bragged that he has an abundance of money and he lavished her with things as gifts. One day, though, he stripped down completely naked in front of her and her cousin. And when her cousin denied him sexual relations with her, he changed his tune and demanded money. Oh, him? <laughs> yeah, right. She's accused of taking, but not giving. The defendant has filed a counter suit for $3,600 for all she's out. All parties, please use your right hands. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Doug. You're welcome, ma'am. Okay, Mr. Martucci, how long has Ms. Wilson Ware been your tenant? Uh, I purchased the, the property approximately three years ago, and she was an existing tenant. And she was already home. living there. Are you yes. still living there now, or you've moved? No, ma'am, I, I moved. Okay, so during that time, you guys kind of developed like a friendship, right? Like you were hanging out, you were loaning her money, it was... Uh, no, not during that time. Um, about uh, maybe uh, August, Sarah of posted... What year? Of year? Of 19, Sarah posted on the internet, on Facebook, that uh, there was a domestic disturbance at her house. She posted pictures of the house being beat up and mattresses being uh, uh, knifed and stuff like that. She reached out to the community and said, I have no way to get to work. No one to babysit anymore because this person that had done this damage was kicked out of the house at this juncture. I came forward and said I could at least get you to work, you know, until you can figure, figure something out. Were you paid out. for that? No, I was not paid. You were just helping her out? I was just helping her out, yes. Okay. Why? Because I knew of her as a tenant and, you know, everything was decent, you know. Okay. I was just being a, just being a good Samaritan. All right, and then Samaritan. at some point she tells you her tale of woe on her couch and television that she bought on a payment plan which if she didn't finish paying it was going to double. Absolutely. Yeah, and then you loan her the money. Yes. You, according to you, you loan her the money. Yes. According to you, he gives you the money. Correct. Why would anybody give you the money? Why would anybody give you, I mean, we're talking about $1,500 worth of stuff. I mean, why would he give it to you rather than loan it to you? Um, well, <laughs> when he gave it to me, he had asked me to come over to his house and we developed a relationship, we were friends. He was dating a girl, Brittany, at the time and was going through some things. And I told him I didn't want to come over because I was crying that day, I was going through some things. Yes, I just ended a breakup or whatnot. Well then, when we got over there, he asked what Who's was wrong. We? Me and my daughter. You and your daughter, how yes. old's your daughter? She's two. Okay. When we got over there, he had asked what was wrong. I just told him, you know, being a single mom, not having no help, it was, it was getting rough and it was, it was a start with two kids. And he, he had asked, you know, what could he help with? And I told him nothing. All I need financially is I have my furniture to pay off and it's doubled if I don't pay it. I said, but I don't want you to pay it because I don't want nothing over my head. Was this a loan or a gift? No, it was a gift. It was not a loan. But, okay, he says it was a loan. What, uh, do either of you have any proof of what you're saying? Because if not, I just have to look at the circumstances and try to figure out if it's in fact a loan or a gift. When it's $20, a gift is pretty probable. When it's this kind of money, it's, pro it's pretty improbable because people don't just rain money on other people. I do. I so have it, 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 there's, it, there's a favor to, to fronting you the money so you don't have to pay double. But do you have any text back and forth where you know he says, um, you don't have to pay me back? I mean, he doesn't say in general you don't have to. Well, he says right here, um, that his friendship was true. He says, sorry, I'm not beating you up over by means, but this is through $25 I had asked him to borrow for my son's haircut before work, I'm um, at before school. And he says, I just can't have $8,000 credit bill and empty hearted and people only contacting me when they need something. I'm just not living that life anymore. And then like I told him in here. I, okay, I'm I, sorry, I had asked you if you had any proof <coughs> by text that this was a, a gift and not a loan. Yes or no? Because things you read have nothing to do with what I'm asking. Do you have any texts there that say, this is a gift, you don't have to pay me back? I mean, he never said it was a gift. 
No. Oh, if he never said it was a gift, why wouldn't you have to pay him back those two things? We never had a loan. He, I never asked him to pay anything. I mean, I have texts where I say, I never asked you to pay anything, and I told him I didn't okay, want him to pay. Okay, but you let him pay it. So the question is, are you supposed to pay him back or not? That's a legal question in front of me. I mean, I and if you're saying he never said it was a gift, that legal question has been answered. Now, according <laughs> to you, she did not pay October, November, or half of December when she was there. That's it. And so you're suing for that rent. Did yes. you pay that rent? No, I did not. Okay, and why did you not pay that rent? Well, I moved out November 17th. Actually, the keys were there November 16th. I moved everything November 15th because he was harassing us to get out. And I clean. I was cleaning his apartments, his other apartments, and helping him rent them out. Apartment, I'm sorry. Okay, but I'm not understanding. Wh so <laughs> instead when had you cleaned me, another apartment? Like he because had, he's, you're, you're describing a situation where he's throwing you out, but then you're saying he's also employing you. So, so we the first friends. question to you is, what day did you move out? Uh, November. I moved out November 15th. Do you dispute that? No. Okay. Then why are you suing for mid-December? Because the lease clearly states that I'm supposed to get a written 30-day notice. Oh, and she didn't give she you notice. No, all did she did was send me a Did you give him 30 days notice back in October that you were moving November 15th? No, he got a notice way before that in August. Okay, or prove to me the notice. Um, why do you keep looking at him? Prove to me that you gave him notice like you're supposed to, you know, the 30 days notice. Actually, I mean, we were discussing about me moving. I had do just you have my proof house. that you gave him? Um, I don't know how to make my question more simple. Do you have proof that you gave him the 30 day notice? I mean, here's conversations between us about what he has to do in the house do you that have I was leaving. Proof that you gave him 30 days notice. This is my last chance that I'm giving you to look through your evidence. I do. I do, ma'am. Take your time, look through the evidence. Thank give him, you. Give me proof that you gave him in October, notice that you were leaving in November. Okay, and while she's looking for that, let me ask you, you're suing for $3,150 estimate from a contractor for what? There was a, well, during this domestic dispute that they had, there was significant damage done to the, to the. Do you have pictures of that damage? Yes. What is this picture supposed to show me? Uh, that's items left behind. She did not clean the apartment at all. She left uh, a personal, table. Pers well, there's uh, pictures of yeah. That's a table in the living room. Okay, that was what left. is this picture supposed that's to show? That's crayon marking on the side of a, a refrigerator. Okay, and but why wouldn't that just wipe off? I'm I'm just I'm, okay. I'm stating that she did not clean. She there okay. was damage done to the property. The what carpets is this a like, picture of? That's a doorknob ripped off for, for on the bathroom. Uh, Based on, I, I can only imagine people trying to open doors while people were trying to stay on the other side. So what door, is this a picture of? That's that it wasn't uh, no, clean, up? no cleaning done inside the kitchen. What is this a picture of? That, that uh, uh, something was uh, thrown in the sink that uh, wouldn't come out. I had to replace the sink. What was? What did you put in here? Like some kind of acidic thing that ruined the sink. There, that, no, that's a lie. I have, I have a video. So you haven't even apartment. seen the picture yet. What is that? That is no. The only thing that was in that sink was bleach water from me cleaning that apartment. That, that was not ruined. I have a picture of the whole entire house. Do you have a picture of that sink? I do have a I have a video of that sink. You can see the sink in the video. Yes, I do. And in the video, the sink isn't ruined. No, it's not. It's not okay, ruined at so all. So we'll see that in a second. You were still looking for proof of notice. The refrigerator's dirty. This is a mess. Yes. It was Messy. What is this? Let's see. <clears throat> this is fist through a wall. Uh, crayon marks. It's hard to see, but the door the door is physically cracked from trying to be pushed. What the hell I, is going on in your apartment? That's a lot. That is such well, a no, lot. I'm looking at it. There's there's damage by fists everywhere. Who's Ma fists? Are those your fists? No, that's no, a okay. lot. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a lie. Like I'm sorry, darling. <laughs> Who this, the, the, put their fists through these? No, there was only one thing wrong with that apartment. It was one hole, and I have I have a video of me How did leaving that hole the apartment. Get there? It was from us, and he knew that. I have a text message telling him. How did that hole him. get there? It was from it was from my daughter's dad. He punched a hole in the wall. Oh, and I so have, it's not so crazy that I said fist through a wall. Now this right. damage over here on this orange wall, where did that come from? She went. She no, went, I'm actually oh. asking you, where did uh, that come from? Ma'am, the apartment was old. It was falling apart where from the get go. Where did this come from? How did this happen? That damage was not there. Like I don't I don't know. What so to tell not you. it was there before you got it because it was old, but instead he did the damage after you left. 
Matter of fact, that's the apartment outside. That is the hallway. That's, that's not you're... even in the apartment. That's, that's the hallway the downstairs, where... and it's still like that. I have pictures of the tenant still there. Like, it's from people what, moving in Is this in the, the hallway? This is the hallway right Wait, outside the door. Who has dorm. access to the hallway? Just her. And No, no and the tenant downstairs. Hold on a second. A common, is this a common hallway that someone else can walk through? That someone could walk through if she left her front door open, yes. And the no. tenant downstairs. Okay, you need to stop screaming and interrupting. There was no question pending. That's the door to her apartment? Yeah. Okay. A human can walk up those steps, but only to go to her apartment? There's no apartment on the side? No. There's it, no... Those stairs lead those only... Those steps lead only to only her apartment. Only to her apartment. I got it. And she What told, is this? Where's that? Inside the apartment or outside? That's inside the apartment. What on earth happened out here? What did happen? These are steps leading right up to only your apartment. What happened there? This is stuff that happens to... Why are you looking at him? Why were you looking at him? No, nah, because I said I don't remember seeing that stuff, so... No, that was not there. That, okay. that had to be there when she moved so in. When were these pictures taken? November the 22nd. Did, when did someone else move in? Uh, not till December 25th, because okay. it took time to contact. Go ahead and show me the pictures inside of your phone. And what about this door jam, which obviously looks like someone bashing the door in. What, what up with that, ma'am? I can't see that. See, you know, the, the damage on the outside walls is very consistent with the damage on the inside walls. Okay, that's paint coming off the wall. Okay, that's just that is off. somebody or something hitting the wall. I mean, Both I of those two... pictures are somebody or something hitting the wall. Well, I have a two-year-old, but as far as oh, I'm... Your two-year-old doesn't have that kind of strength, like that, babe. That is, that is paint coming off the wall. That's not... And yeah, that hand was it not over. There. Yeah. Yeah, who am I going to believe? You or my lion eyes? Come on. I can't pull Okay, up. no, I would agree with you on this one, that this is paint coming off the wall. This one is the one you said? Yes, ma'am. Okay. But this is not... This is paint coming off the wall because someone hit the wall. And this is not your two-year-old span. Because well, this is too bedroom? high up for a two-year-old. I don't know. I showed it to you already. But you were so busy denying it that you didn't take a good look. Now take a good look. No, that was... I don't know. I don't what know. do you think I the guy did? Take I a bat and bash you. things up just so he could have the... He destroyed the place so that then he could go after you to make you pay it. Is that it? I don't know, but what I do... It doesn't make I sense, have, though, right? I have a video. Like, why would I go and clean did and Did you find the notice? His... Yes or no? Yes, I actually did. Let me see it. In October, giving 30 days notice. I, I want to say... It, here we are, 928. Or, or before that. Told him I was going to pay this month, and you see the date right here. That one's 928. So, and did you leave? Uh, I let, actually, October was paid for because I cleaned I'm his apartment. I'm going to pay this next month. This is when? When do you send this in September? Okay, so you're talking about October, and you say, I'm going to, uh, you know, do, do you see how maybe you should have a more professional relationship with a tenant than the one that resulted? Do you live there, too? No, no. Right, no. so you don't even this live there. This is just there a business. Where no. it's not, well, no, it's not just business. It, it isn't. I'm looking at the text. These aren't just business. Uh -huh. In fact, according to you, it got a little more. It, it, it got really busy business at some point. Tell me about that. Oh, uh, we, were, we were supposed to actually go to dinner and discuss our business that we were supposed to start, which was a cleaning business. And he uh, invited my cousin to the dinner, and I told him that we wouldn't be able to sit down and go over everything that we wanted to get situated for the business. If she was to come, because he's a drinker and so is she, and what happened was they drank, so I knew it was going to get messy, so I stayed sober. And then um, basically what happened is they got really drunk. He started texting his girlfriend uh, with her and saying some off-the-wall things. And then um, when it all boiled down to it, he ran from the bar. He ended up at home. I looked for him for two hours. I finally got to his house. I had his keys. Yeah, you know, like most landlord tenants do. Go on. I had his keys his wallet, his house keys, and his car. So when we got to his house, he was passed out in his hallway, and I woke him up and told him to go get in the bed. Well, he went inside, got in his bed. Well, he got all the way naked, and then he came walking out. Naked? Into, yes. And? And my cousin Diamond was looking at him with her mouth dropped, and I turned my head because it's my landlord, and I didn't want to see that. And he kept trying to get her to come in the room, and she told him no. And he got real angry and mad and started attacking her, and that's when I jumped off that the couch. That doesn't sound like a particularly professional relationship, right? Well, it's not the truth. So, okay. I mean, it's not the what truth. What did happen? You went out to dinner with your tenant and I her cousin, and everybody drank. That part true? No. I mean, uh, well, here's what happened. How about, you how about she's just your tenant? 
That's how, you know, you don't pay her her couch uh -huh. for her to then say, he no. was just loving on me, right? No how about way, that? Yeah. That's what I meant by no, keeping it professional. I, I, yeah, I agree All with right. you. Yep. So let me ask you this. I'm going to pay this next month. That would be October. And I'm getting out in the middle. Just need to make enough to put my kids and I in a room until the house is ready. I'm washing my hands on every blanking thing alive. I'm going to clean your apartment, have it ready, keep the deposit that deposit. I wish you the best. I'm getting a loan to start my cleaning business. Go back to your hood rat and hope she changes. And then it goes on and on and on. Did you give him a date that you were leaving? Because that didn't happen, what you say here. A, you didn't pay October. And B, right? You didn't pay October. That's because October was supposed to be paid for for the work that I'd done in Except his Except for that's department. not what you said in the text, right? I don't owe you October because of work I did before. You don't say that in the text. All right, what you say in the text is I'm going to pay October. So you're making it hard for me to believe that he owed you money from a cleaning. So you don't pay October, and you don't leave in the middle of October. You leave a month later. Where's the notice that you're leaving on the day you left? There isn't. Okay, so now tell me about your counterclaim against him for $3,600. According to you, he owes you for cleaning what apartment? His, his other apartment down the street from my house. Okay, and why is it $600? Uh, because it was supposed to be the rent for October. What is your rent? $600. So if it's supposed to be the rent for October and you didn't pay rent for October, why are you charging $600? Why would you also make $600 when you didn't pay rent? Well, he kept my security deposit. Okay. So the security deposit is how much? $600. Right, and that's in a separate line item in your lawsuit, so that's not the answer. According to you, after this blow up where you're using the F-bomb a thousand times and you're telling him you're leaving, but you don't leave when you say you were gonna leave and all this stuff happens, you tell him you're gonna pay October, but you don't pay October. When all that stuff is happening, you say he hired you after that to go clean an apartment? No, no, no. I was cleaning the apartment over down the street from my house. When? Um, it was November, I, can I see the phone? Yeah. While she's looking, did you hire her to clean apartments and mow lawns, like she's saying? Yes. And did you pay her when she did that? No, I did not. I, uh, I gave her a credit in my suit of $300 for cleaning an apartment. $600 to clean an apartment is just... Okay, well, what uh, was the agreement the... between the two of you about how much she, credit she would get for cleaning an apartment? $300. $300. That was the agreement? Do you have anything to prove what you're saying, like a text back and forth about, can you clean the apartment, I'll pay you $300? No. Okay, now, when did she clean the apartment? After that, a, those nasty texts I saw, no, or before? No, this was before that. Okay, yes. and you gave her credit on, for you were planning on giving her credit for what, October? In October's rent? Uh, there was, I was gonna pay her the, the cash for doing it. Okay, so what was the agreement that you'd give her credit or that you'd pay her cash? Pay her cash. And how much were you going to pay her? Three hundred for cleaning the apartment? Yes. And then how much for mowing lawns? One hundred. You have a total you're suing for. You mm -hmm. are subtracting the security deposit uh -huh. and you are subtracting three hundred dollar cleaning credit. Mm -hmm. Where's the one hundred dollar lawn mowing that, credit? That credit was given in July when she did when she did the cuttings and she So paid she re reduced rent in July. Five hundred is all she paid in July. Is that accurate, ma'am? Yes, it okay. is. Okay, so if that's accurate, why are you trying to collect the $100 in because this lawsuit? Because that wasn't the only time that I that I did the lawn. You're going to have to prove that. Okay. So can you prove when else you mowed lawns? Because your lawsuit says four lawns. I, I have text messages where I text him and I said that I was done. And that was How does that prove what I just asked? If you want me to see that you did it eight times and not four <laughs> times, show me proof you did it eight times. Well, I, okay. Yeah. All right. What is this a picture of? That is the stove. If you scroll over, you'll see all the apartment, the, everything that... Oh, that's the apartment you cleaned. Correct. All right, but why would it be $600? I, I pay people to clean. I've never paid $600. It was $150 each day. It was literally... Cake Prove you on. took three days. How big is that apartment? Eight. Because my house doesn't take three days to clean. How big was the apartment? Come on. You know, when you do stuff like that, when you quit, you know, we're quibbling over something ridiculous, I lose faith in you. Ma'am, I don't want to lose faith in you. All right. Slander and pain and suffering. Talk to me. Um, he told his girlfriend, Brittany, things about us on the internet. She start texting me off of like his what? phone. Uh, for one, my house caught bed bugs from my daughter going to a sitter's. And he took care of that, but he let known and his girlfriend, Brittany, 
uh, posted a big post on the internet about me and my daughter. From what was she mad at? She thought you were into some funny business with him? It was that night that he was yeah. texting her. Do you have a lease that talks about what late fees you're allowed to charge? Yes. Go on, I'm sorry. Um, not only that, but he kept showing up at the house um, telling us to get out. He, I got uh, him. Telling you to get out, meaning Get what? out of his house, yep. What happened, what blow up happened that he would tell you to get out of the house? Uh, when all that happened with Diamond, and then that same night, he like left, completely took off, and then I get texts from his phone from his girlfriend Brittany. And okay, then so he everything me went back. south between you two after that, then you didn't have a, a cordial relationship. Correct. I, I, I need to hear your whole case on slander, pain, and suffering. Uh, he was just showing up at the house, and then um, Brit, his girlfriend was posting things on the internet about me and my about me and my children. Right, but I can't hold against him something his girlfriend does. It's just everything that he was telling her, and then um, I got all these text messages calling me about my name, um, just go basically going in, call, telling me I'm mental and I need mental was health. Was that from and, him? Yes, everything's right. from him, and then. Uh, not only that, but uh, I had people calling at, they were asking, like he was asking around what was my new address, and then all of a sudden my truck was completely damaged. I had to turn it in and get a new car. Did like, you, did you have, do you have any evidence that was him? I, I don't have any evidence. Okay. But, you, uh, there's no dispute that she left November 15th, right? November, yeah. No, I, had a, I got a picture November the 16th from her showing the keys and that she said she was out. Okay. Do you have pictures of how it looked when it was rented to you? How long did you, did you live there? I moved in in 16, November 16th. Do you have pictures of how it looked when they gave it to you? Uh, I have videos of Do you have pictures before. of how it looked when you bought the place? What her apartment looked like when you bought the place? I have an appraisal, but I do not have it with me, which would have had plenty of pictures of Yeah, well, of that would all be good to have so that I know yeah. the condition it was in mm -hmm. um, and can compare. But... Uh, there are things that are obvious, you know, destruction, and then there are things that I don't know about. Uh, we're done. On uh, his lawsuit against you, I find that you owe the rent. Uh, you're unable to find any 30-day notice that you gave him. You said uh, during one angry moment that you would pay October and be out in the middle of October. That isn't at all what you did. What he needed was notice of the day that you were actually going to get out so he knows when he can re-rent it. That's the concept behind notice. So you owe the two and a half months rent. You owe late fees, not in the amount that you calculated because there was a security deposit, so that would cover the first of the late fees. So I've recalculated that. There are certainly damages that are there, and uh, a lot of it is from whatever volatile relationship you allowed yourself, you know, you were in and had in your house and on repeated occasions with your, is that, was that the baby's father or no? It was. Yeah. And, um, it's just a mess. It's not the amounts you're saying, but I'm uh, allowing $1,000 for that. And on the couch and the television, um, no, he didn't rain that on you for keeps. That was just a favor he was doing so that you wouldn't have to pay double. Doesn't mean that you don't have to pay anything. So I'm adding that. I'm subtracting from this figure $300 of cleaning credit and $600 of security deposit, which takes care of two items in your lawsuit, the security deposit and the cleaning credit is not going to be the amounts you say. Uh, slander and pain and suffering, I don't think you've proven a case for that, and the mowing of the lawns, you received a credit for that in July, and you're unable to prove to me that you did more than that after everything hit the fan. The most probative thing for me is what you say in the text to him. You say, I'm going to pay October, you know? Um, so, I don't know. It, it, but he says, yeah, yeah, judge, she's owed the cleaning, so we're going to put that in there. Uh, that leaves then, if I subtract the cleaning fee and the security deposit, a, a net judgment in favor of the plaintiff in the amount of $3,375.47 verdict for the plaintiff. And you are winning on two items of your counterclaim in the amounts I previously said, and that's already being taken into account in the net judgment. $3,375.47 verdict for the plaintiff. So, when all is said and done, as the judge pointed out, you owe him thirty-three seventy-five. Okay, you got to give that back to him. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's that's the judgment against you. Yep. And you're glad that you're out. I'm sure. 
I mean, I, if she would have seen the video of the apartment as yeah. I was walking out, and yeah. But it's all right. I mean, it's it's all said and done. It's done and over with, and I'm ready to put all that behind me and keep moving forward. And start a new life. Yep. <laughs> okay, good. Thank good you. Good luck to you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, Mr. Martucci, you were suing for $5,600. You get $3,375 mm -hmm. back. Are you content with that? Yes. Satisfied? I'm yeah, I'm satisfied. Okay. I'm, I'm ready to move on. And it's over. That. They're gone. That's it. You, too, mm -hmm. can start a new life, right, That's it. so to speak? Yeah. All right, good enough. Thank right, you very thank much. You. Okay. Harvey? Okay. No matter what your relationship is with your landlord, if you are a tenant and you want to move out and you have to give 30 days notice, do it in writing. Shall I repeat? Do it in writing. An oral notice is not worth the paper it isn't written on.